Hello everyone, and we're taking a look at uh, XBlig releases for the week of February the 19th to February 25th, 2012. Starting off with Gravitas. It's, uh, I suppose this game would be best played multiplayer, but we can play single player. We'll just see what this is all about. Alright, so basically this is what it's about. We have spaceships. I'm the one in the middle right now. We can't actually move, but it's a turn-based game where we have to decide where we're going to aim, and then we fire or use a special attack. And the gravity of those planets can affect our shots. So, like so. And I got destroyed. So now just the two computer players left. And that, uh, and that's probably going to happen if uh, you appear in front of another player without a planet in front of you. Alright, let's try that again. Just going to wait for the... Okay, so the computer player on the lower left, the red, I think he's... I'm not sure what he's aiming at, but the yellow one is aiming for me. So I'm going to try to aim at him, and I'm going to use a special attack, fire and warp, so I shoot and warp away. I missed again. But because I warped, I was able to avoid uh, getting hit. Now, this, the yellow ship and I are right in front of each other, so it's not as if um, either one of us are going to miss this time, and I cannot warp, so all I can do is shoot and die. Which leaves the red ship as the winner. Wow. Both myself and the red ship were aiming at yellow, and uh, we both missed. Impressive. We can also do a triple shot to widen my uh, my shot, like that. And we all died. The game's actually not bad. It's very simple, not a whole lot to it. And sometimes there's just not a whole lot you can do if, uh... If the enemy has a clear shot and you can't warp. But, I mean... For, as far as x goes, it really is not that bad of a game. By the way, your own shots can kill you. If they happen to orbit into you. Eh? Alright. Hmm. Let's give this a try. Eh, yeah, one. How about that? Unless that comes... That came back and hit me. I didn't win. Great. Okay. So that's... That's with three players. Uh, let's try... Hold on. Let's try five players, which is the max. Well, five AI players, which means six in total. And pretty much everyone... I'm just going to warp, because there are two guys aiming at me right now, and they have clear shots. Alright, everyone except myself and this guy survived, but uh, with the clear shot we have at each other, neither of us are going to live. And, uh, we, yeah, someone hit uh, an inhabited planet there, hit, hit Earth, and killed a lot of people. I don't know if that affects your score, but it's a nice little touch. I like the music. Very spacey. Alright, I've got all potential power-ups, so I'm going to use fire and warp.
Some... Okay, he warped, and I almost hit him anyway, but didn't quite. Sometimes the computer can take a little while to uh, make a decision. Hmm, almost got him. I should have a okay, yeah, I got the triple shot powered up, and that should be enough to get him. Oh, he warped. Hmm, okay, so that means we both die. I do have someone aiming at me. Um, let's see. I can't really do anything about that. <laughs> and everyone died in one round. Yeah, I'm actually kind of surprised at how much time I'm taking to, uh, to play this one. It's so simple. And everyone died again in one round. And Earth got hit a bunch of times. And I... I Okay, tie uh, tie for third play for first place, but uh, yeah, I mean it's a very simple game, not that much to it, but I, it's kind of fun, and by Xbox standards, it's actually pretty good. So uh, that's Gravitas. Next up is Evan Quest. What's Evan Quest? Well, it's a story, an interactive story that we're gonna read. We only have uh, the trial version, so we only have this one story. I don't know how many there are in total, but uh, let's see what the story's all about. Alright, Evan wakes up. He puts on his shirt. Hold on, we got interactivity here. What color is the shirt? I'm gonna say Evan went with red. Great, he likes it. He sees his pet. And uh, what does he have for a pet? I'll say he has a dog. I think Evan's a dog kind of guy. Dog is named D Dioji. Well, that's a terrible name. Is it Evan or the dog that's eating breakfast? I need clarification. Okay, I'm going to assume it's Evan eating the breakfast. Let's say he eats cereal. He likes it. He likes crunchy cereal. I'm glad I'm making all the choices that Evan likes. He uses the computer. He goes on to 4chan. Uh, let's see, what is on the computer? Let's say a video. The video is funny. Evan goes outside to play. The end! So we succeeded at Evan's quest. Let's, uh, let's try that again and see if uh, different choices result in different, um, results. Let's say he puts on a green shirt this time. He likes the green shirt. He sees his pet. Uh, we'll say it's a gecko. Gecko's name Lizzie. It's not a bad name for for a gecko. He eats breakfast. Uh, let's say he took he ate toast this time. Evan, great, you know, chose a completely different food, but Evan liked it anyway. He still uses the computer after eating breakfast. Let's say he's playing a game. <laughs> the game is fun, so he's not playing X Plague. Evan goes outside to play again, and the end. So it still ended with him going outside to play. All right, one more time. Evan wakes up, puts on a shirt, blue shirt, likes that blue shirt. He likes everything. You know, Evan's, Evan's not picky. I kind of like that. He can put on any color shirt, and he likes it just fine. Let's say he owns a cat. Cat's named Forrest. All right. Eats breakfast. Uh, what does he think of eggs? He, he likes them. Who'd have thought? But he likes the eggs, too. Use the computer. Um, I don't know what it means by there's a story on the computer. Maybe he's reading fanfic or something. Uh, the story is fun. He goes outside to play. The end! So, this is a thing you can buy on, on Xplig. Uh, I don't know if the other stories that you get with, um, with purchasing the game would have anything more to them. Or if all the stories just go like this. But that's... That's seven quests, I guess. 
Next up is uh, Perturber... Perturbirds. So, when I saw the name, I figured this was going to be an Angry Birds clone, because, you know, those sell. But, uh... It said it's this. And this is some pretty intense music, I'll tell you. And I'm a bird and I'm shooting rings at other birds. I'm shooting balloons. Balloons. There's a hot air balloon. I'm killing the people on that. Because if I don't shoot the balloons, the balloons will shoot those dark that dark energy at me. And that, that watermark that says trial mode that never goes away. Hold on. Power up. Yep, there we go, got the homing thing. And oh, I got, um, something. I don't know if that's any better than what I had. So, um... The, th the whole bird thing aside, it is sort of an old-style side-scrolling shooter. If you get hit, you die in one hit. I don't know how long this level is. Or really what the... What the end... The objective of the game eventually ends up being. If it's anything different than... Than just flying across the screen and shooting birds and balloons. Oh wait, the... The waves of enemies seem to have stopped. Let's see if anything else comes up. Oh, next level. Oh, I got a, uh, a large ripple weapon, kind of like in, uh, in Life Force. This music is kind of making me freak out a little bit, I have, to t I have to tell you. Oh, no, oh no, weather. Got lightning. And s that, was that a spider? I'm not sure. Oh, I died. Do, do I get another life? I do, I do, I get another life. Now I have to say, the birds in this game do seem genuinely angry. They seem, they seem, they do seem perturbed. I'm not sure why I'm destroying hot air balloons. Or why the people in the hot air balloons want to kill... Want to kill me. I got hit by lightning. As birds will, will do. They will die by getting hit by lightning. Oh, I was sloppy. That was my fault. So, yeah, it's... This is Perturbs. Perturber... Perturbirds. It's not exactly what I was expecting at all, but it's actually kind of better than what I was expecting. You know, this is the sort of thing that you only get on Xblig, you know? You really don't see something like this anywhere else. For... for good or for bad. What? Was that a game over screen? What was that? I don't know what that was supposed to... Okay, well, I think that's enough perturbed birds. I think you got the message of what this game is like. Um, so yes, that was released this past week. Next up is Cro-Mag Rally Extreme. Because, you know, we, want, uh, we wanted a kart racer, caveman-themed kart racer, and uh, now we got just what we wanted. That's what everyone was asking for. 80 points. Alright, so we got a few different levels, but we could only pick the first one since the demo as expected. 
I have a bunch of different cars we can pick from. I think I'm gonna pick uh, this one, the Geode Cruiser, because I kind of like the idea of uh, just a rock with wheels. We have two characters we can pick from. I don't know if there's a difference between them. Alright, so the game looks better than a lot of X-Blig games. I, I do have to give it that. Uh, caught up in all these guys. It's not the best looking... It's not the best looking racing game I've seen on X-Blig, but... Oh, hold on, I got Nitro. Let me boost into first. Oh, look out, tornadoes. Oh no. We got items that we can pick up and throw behind us. The guy's following us. A lot of crashing going on. That's because we're all clustered up. We haven't uh, spread out yet. Oh, now I got Nitro. See if we can get back in the first. Pick up some oil slicks. I can throw them behind me as well. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna instantly throw these items I pick up behind me since uh, there's a load of guys behind me so I mean the game controls okay I don't really know what's the appeal of the uh, the caveman theme I got nitro which let me pull ahead Throw a couple oil slicks behind me. So it's not a bad game, but, uh, you know, when you go to x you're probably looking for something a little bit unique. Super suspension activated. Something that you might not find on, in on, on, on other services, and a kart racer really does not fit that description. Uh, uh, oh, I'm, I'm doing terribly now. I went from first to last. Let's see if we can get back up. Back in a second. Got some nitro, so let's go. Oh, hit the oil slick. I'm out of control. I mean, the frame rate's smooth. And the controls are okay, no problems there. Super I just don't think that X Blig is that uh, a kart racer is really what you're going to uh, to X Blig for. But I don't know, man. Maybe you're looking for a kart racer. Maybe you've been holding out for uh, for one that's caveman themed. Uh, uh, d d d d oh, didn't get first. Ended up in second. Or maybe you just really like caveman theme games for some reason. Maybe if you have your choice of games, you always pick the one that's caveman themed. And you're just waiting for a caveman representation in each genre. But maybe if, maybe if that's the case, then, then Crow Mag Rally Extreme is for you. It's on x and it's not offensively bad, which is a plus on the service. Next up is the Impossible Dungeon. And we'll, we'll just to see, I'll just see just how impossible this might be. Alright, so it's actually a text adventure. Which I have to say I didn't really see coming. 
so actually we've had two text adventures so far if you include Evan Quest. Which is uh, two more than you would usually see. So basically we have, um, we're king and our castle's been taken over by the Prince of Demons. Um, our party does not like each other. Alright. So every so often we have a choice we have to make. We have to decide how we want to get into the castle. We can open the door, we can climb the wall to access an open window. We can swim in the moat to find a passage under the water. We can ask our wizard to use a teleportation spell to go directly in the castle. What's that border around the text? It has a lot of eyeballs in it. What? What is... I don't know what that's supposed to be. I just, I just noticed that right now. Um, anyway, back to our choice. Um, we have a wizard... If we do have a wizard, we might as well have him use his magic. So let's use the teleportation spell. Alright, so our wizard teleported us into the middle of a wall. And we die. Game over. Alright, let's try that again. Right? Approaching the castle, our party doesn't like each other. Let's swim in the moat to see if we can find a... And then you would think the king would know if there's an entry under there, but let's try it. Oh no, crocodiles. And we died. So this is pretty similar to the Choose Your Own Adventures I remember. That would kill you pretty often. Um, let's climb the wall to access an open window. Oh, we didn't die. So that's promising. Okay, we're, our party's still insulting each other. Because it's funny. Uh, okay, we have a, a chest here. And we ask if we want to open it to take out the gold. Let's do that. And there's nothing inside. So, our brother, the Prince of Demons, has already spent the gold. Oh. And that's the end of the demo. Uh, so didn't that demo make you want to, to buy it right now? Uh, for 240 points, too. He's charging triple the price that, uh, that a game would usually be on x -Blake. So, that's showing some, uh, some confidence in, in his product. He may also be overvaluing his product, um, especially after that demo. But that's the impossible dungeon. It's, it's three dollars if if you want to choose your own adventure thing on Xblig, I guess.